Taylor has an eight-month-old daughter with Tyler, but she doesn't want him in her life because she believes that he may have molested one of his own daughters. Oh. You see, while Taylor was babysitting Tyler's four-year-old daughter, the child told her that he touched her. And now Taylor fears he has molested their child as well. One day, his daughter was in the bathroom crying and screaming, and I, me and my friend went in there and we're like, what's wrong, why are you crying? She said that her daddy, her no-no. And I immediately freaked out. I confronted him and he cried and threw himself to the floor and swore he didn't do anything. And so I gave him the benefit of the doubt and wanted to trust him because I did love him. Everything seemed to be going fine and then his daughter started acting out sexually. My kids started acting out sexually. There are multiple red flags that make me feel like Tyler molested my girls as well. And I called the police on him and told them that I wanted a lie detector test done. He agreed. Um, they ended up giving him a stress test and he failed for deception and then he admitted. Now he's recanting. Um, he said he was interrogated into admitting and I don't believe that. Me and Tyler have an eight month old together now and when she was three weeks old, he bit her arm. It wasn't hard, but it was like kind of sensual. It felt like it just, my stomach dropped to the floor immediately and it didn't make me feel good. Tyler, that's your ex Taylor on the tape. What's going on? About July, uh, she confronted me about molesting my daughter. Uh, your daughter, and it's not her and daughter. And not her right. daughter at all. Okay. Um, me and my daughter are best friends. We've been through significant things together. Uh, my daughter's always been my best friend. I never once touched her. Uh, I've changed her diaper. How did this allegation come up that you molested your own daughter? I, I have no clue. I was at work one day. I came home, and all Taylor's stuff was packed. Uh, I didn't and know. You what and to Taylor do. were married, or we were just dating. But having kids together. Yeah, we had. A, we had. She was pregnant at the time. And your daughter allegedly tells Taylor that Daddy touched me. Yes, sir. We talked. Uh, Taylor stayed at the house. She was gonna leave. Uh, I had talked her into staying. Were the police involved? Not at that time. What made her leave? Uh, we got in a fight, 4th of July. Uh, I, I had been a nice guy and let her kid's dad move in, and our relationship <laughs> really went downhill from I there. I mean, you know, when I hear these stories like that, I, I always go, what, 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 what kind of drugs were you taking, or how drunk were you? <laughs> like, who lets their ex move in with them? We got into a fight on the 4th of July. Uh, I told her to leave. Her kids, his dad was violent with me, tried to fight me several times out in my driveway. I kept telling him, leave, I, you know, leave. My kids are standing right there, leave. I don't want no conflict in front of, of my course. kids. She called the cops and told the cops that I was molesting my daughter. And your her daughter, not yeah, my one, daughter. Not the one with Taylor. So that's when she notifies the police that maybe you're a molester. Yes. After a fight with her ex. Yes. The cop that came, I, I was a volunteer fireman for eight years in the city that I lived in. Me and him had fought on calls. You every, and the cop? Me and the cop. He didn't so ever like me. So everybody that's showing up, you're fighting with. Everybody. Um, before he even asked me about that, he told me that DHS was called and they were coming to get my kids. Okay. Uh, I freaked out. Uh, I didn't know what to do. Officer, I said, I'll, I'll go and take a polygraph test just to prove you wrong. And instead of taking me to a polygraph test, they took me to a voice analysis test. Uh, I fought with him the whole way. He took me to the voice analysis test. I did not want to take that test. Well, why'd you take it? He told me that that test was more accurate than a polygraph test. And at that point, I didn't know. And you're just believing him. I did. I, I honestly believe him. The guy that you're having problems exactly. with. Exactly. He came in and told me I, I failed for failed. hesitation. Of course he did. Uh, I didn't understand why I failed for And then hesitation. did they arrest you? No, they did not arrest me. Why not? Uh, because he said that he didn't have no proof and he had to go to the DA's office and put the report into the DA's office. Taylor had a uh, relationship before, had an older uh, daughter, and she thinks that you might have molested her now. Yeah. Did you? No. Okay. Then she says that you bit your baby. 
uh, playfully. We were laying on the floor, playing around. She was young. I, I grabbed her arm and just kind of nibbled on it, just making, trying to make her laugh and smile. She was young. She was a month old. Um, so nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And there's an open investigation now? Uh, I'm currently going through court. We've been What, what did they say you're facing? What could you get? 25 years life. Ooh, did you test. sign a confession? No, I did not. I was through an interrogation for three hours, and I threw my hands up. He was poking me, and I threw my hands up and said, yes, whatever. And he asked me to write a confession down. On my confession that I supposedly wrote was a, supposed to be an apology letter to the DA's office. Uh, I never once put that I molested my daughter. What'd you apologize to the DA for? Supposedly for being a bad guy. What exactly did you put in that letter? I put that I had never once touched my daughter. The only time that I had touched my daughter was changing her diaper, wiping her butt with a wet wipe, and putting my diaper rash cream on okay. her when she was. So I'm hoping you didn't do anything, right? No, I didn't. You do came nothing. here, you want to take the slide tuck to I hope you're gonna pass. No chance you and Tyler getting back together? I, I would love to get back together with her in all honesty. I have but might I sound mean, crazy. Is there any chance? Is there, for me, yes. I don't know for her. <laughs> well, let's, let's find out. She was in the bathroom, and she was crying and screaming, and she said that her no-no hurt. And I asked her, why does your no-no hurt? And she said her daddy her no-no. He was very convincing at first. I thought that maybe, maybe he didn't. Maybe I just wanted to believe him. I loved him. So you didn't notify the police at this time? Not at that time. You have a daughter with the, the ex. And you believe that he molested that daughter, right? Yes. Why do you believe that? Um, because before I met Tyler, she was the sweetest, innocent, just the best little girl ever. And um, all of a sudden, she started acting out sexually. Did you ask her if he touched her? Yes. What would she say? She said no. She was three weeks old, not even a month old yet. He came over and he was loving on the baby and everything and then he bit her arm and it wasn't hard but it was like it felt like sexual like it biting an arm is sexual it was the way he bit it how did and he bite it it was just like it was just soft and it seemed like he slipped up. I mean, but I used to bite my kids' feet. She was three weeks I'd old. I blow Steve. on their belly. Yeah, it's one thing when they're six months old and they're laughing, and she was three weeks old. He said he wants to get back together with you. He says that. Do you? No. What if he passes his lie detector test? If he passed, I wouldn't know. I would have a little bit of. I wouldn't believe your test. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. What if he fails? Will you believe it then? Yes. Oh. <laughs> and we asked him, did you ever touch your four-year-old daughter in a sexual manner? He answered no. Did you ever touch Taylor's three-year-old daughter in a sexual manner? He answered no. Did you ever touch your eight-month-old daughter in a sexual manner? He answered no. The results came back all the same. And it came back that Tyler told the truth. The day of, you put a post on Facebook before I had a freaking warrant telling everybody that said. Why did you admit? Why I did didn't you have admit? no other choice. What did you, you want did. me to do? Go to jail? You don't admit to something I'm you didn't do, I'm not a person do, that Tyler. can go to jail. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a little bitty guy. Signing stupid confessions that you yeah, didn't admit to anything, but you're taking polygraphs. Or you probably said something crazy to her. Like, you're an idiot, OK? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I, I am an idiot. I don't believe that you're a child molester. I got to imagine it's great for you to come on the show and clear your name, because when you're accused of child molestation, it's got to be a huge weight off your shoulders. Yeah. So knowing you were with this guy, and he's a sweet guy, and everything, it, it, until that moment that his daughter said this to you, how was the relationship? It was great. It was great. Any chance that you two could work this out and maybe get back together? I don't know. Is there a chance that maybe after the show you sit down with him, have a talk, and maybe try to repair your relationship? We'll see. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.